welcome back everybody to Upper Mississippi River Valley here on Farming Simulator 17. Woohoo! Yep, 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 yep. That is a mouthful. Folks, we got the John Deere uh, S690i and we got the Case Axle Flow 9230. Both with corn heads on them. And, uh, we're going to get started farming. This is episode two. Uh-oh. Let me, uh, turn my HUDs back on. There we go. Um, i done a little bit map it. So it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you all that. And, uh, we're going to do a corn harvest. And hopefully we'll get two loads to go sell. And make us some money and buy some more things. So here we go. Uh, this case combine, I got it set to the AI vehicle extension. And hopefully it'll go around the whole field. And this John Deere combine is going to go straight up and down. I just love the inside of this and that way. Now I'm just killing some time for a little bit, folks. Uh, matter of fact, we're going to, now we do have a silo, folks. We do have a silo. Uh, let's see if I can have anything. Yeah, we got to get that planter to the shop. Uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's set up that course play route. Uh, it's already installed, so we don't have to do nothing. Let's transport market to farm. It's already in there. I don't want to do the nearest because my first is back here. There we go. Pull on up here a little bit. And drive course. Stop at the last waypoint. We don't want to worry about him no more. That's a beautiful truck. Yep. That is mine. Alright. Uh, let's see. I think y'all know about the sprayer. Gotta fertilize these fields so we can get ready to plant. Hop on over here. Now, if I can't remember I done it in the first episode or done it before I started even recording, but we did have a bunch of grain tank silos on here, and I sold a lot of them to get the equipment. I think that's what I done. Uh, that should be on episode one, but if it ain't, don't hold it to me. But anyway, y'all remember this field had an L shape right here? Well, I plowed it out, folks. And yes, we got some grass growing right there. I want to get back in the map editor, take that out so it'll look better on the field. But anyway, I'll straighten this field completely up. And we're going to get this guy going. Actually, we need to spray before we do that. I keep forgetting. But, uh, let's see. I put some concrete around the fuel tank here. And all up through here. I might concrete this whole driveway. I'm not for sure. Um. Let's see, where is that? The, uh, remember right here? I had a bunch of trees and it was rough right here, had a hump. Well, I smoothed that hump out. Added some gravel all up here. I forgot to take out the weeds, but that would be alright. Um I'm gonna go ahead and scale up a little bit. Um, this tank here I put some gravel up to here, some feed and stuff for chickens a little bit better. A little bit later on, I don't know if I want to put another shed there or two silos. I think what I'm going to do is put a big uh, shed there. What I'll probably do, go in map editor, copy this shed right here that we're looking at with the green roof, and I'm going to paste it right in here. 
uh, probably leave that tree there, but I'm going to paste it right up in here. And then I'm going to get... The only thing about that is chickens go across here, and that won't be realistic doing that. But this area would be great for two grain tanks right here. Two of the big ones. Just take out this concrete down through here. And just kind of make a concrete slab here. Put two big grain tanks. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. If I have to, we'll do it right over here. I'll take these three out and put some concrete here, put a big old shed over here, and like maybe two big grain tanks here. Yeah. I'm getting kind of brave with the map editor, folks. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, oh yeah. So let me put my speed on. I moved the flagpoles. There was two and one. Uh, this one here, it had like a, a flag, the American flag there, and the don't tread on me flag was here. Actually, it was here, and I moved it over, but I just spaced them out. There's two different flag poles and one, so that was pretty neat. I'm probably going to put up a third flag pole. I'm going to move that and over here, and right here, I'm going to put Mr. Blue Farms on that, and once I figure out how. Uh, I cleaned up the ditch here. The weeds and stuff. And right through here. I cleaned up the weeds also. I'm thinking about taking out all these trees here. So all this be open. Like I said, I've done some more cleaning stuff back through here. Kind of open this up a little bit. Um... And I went down through here, so we mow some of this. If I can find it, we need to go ahead and start our combine now. All right. Like I said, this is going to be going straight up now. I don't know why that track is smoking. Case probably going to be needing emptied here pretty soon. We'll go on up here and see how far he actually got. See what this ditch area here looks like. I'm going to try to get some money to lease a sugar beet harvester so we can get that right there. I mean, even got up here pretty good ways. reason why I waited a little bit to start the other one, I wanted to make sure this case got down here and able to go across because he's going to, uh, uh, like that's J Boo, he's going to be doing the ends, like about two rounds all the way around the field and then we'll start him going up and down also. But this ditch down through here is pretty deep, and we don't want none of them running off. Okay, I'm just going to put the follow me on here. Alright, our truck made it there. See, I'm going to close that up just a little bit. About 20. So there's a little bit of room there, but we're going to just do all the way around just to be on the safe side. 
Right, let's go get our Chevy. Make sure Juno didn't wreck it. Why are the things open? Ah, no, no, no. My hood on here. Ah, oh, no wonder I can't move. Stop driver. Alright, can I close cover? Yes. Must blue open going down the road. Now, I don't know if this is a working silo for uh, chaff and stuff. Don't know. Let's see where we're going to park this. I guess we're going to park in the shed for right now. Chickens are running around everywhere. They they all the way out here. All right, let's do uh, let me, uh shorten this down. There we go. So I suppose sixty percent almost. Um, John Deere's forty. So it's a, uh, I have to do this one because this pole right here is out of whack than the rest of them, which that is, you know, part of life, there ain't nothing straight in life. Look bouncy around here. I want to get the uh, Rogator sprayer also. I think that'll help us out. John Deere's still doing good. I'm going to get this guy and go over here and start on this corner. I'm glad they put these John Deere dishes in the game. Or made mods for them. Excuse me, made mods for them. Alright, Gina. Don't let me smack you. One down there is out. Just a whole lot more than the rest of them. Whoa, what are you doing? Down. Whoa. Yeah, uh, scoot on over some more, buddy. Money is dropping, folks. All right, we got ten when we get to the end. All right, they're doing pretty good. 
go ahead and empty this guy before he gets to the end down there. And he should be able to make it back to the semi truck, surely. I need to take a uh, a path of grass down through here. Check on now. I missed it a little bit, but it's right. So we kind of need a smaller sprayer. Maybe one of these days somebody will get that. Uh I can't think of the guy. That Rogator. And uh, fix that sprayer add on mod for me. Let's see. I'm just going to. Turn this bad boy around real quick. Hopefully he'll do all right right there. Pretty good size feel. Lord, I can't. A big feel. Uh, get back up here, catch this John Deere combine. Uh, how much percent? Nine thousand nine hundred and eighty. I think when the case makes it around, we're going to put the small tipper on the case and keep this one on the uh, John Deere combine and just go from there. John Deere is at 94%. I don't know if I can make it to them. Oh, yeah, I see him now. Or see Boo. Boo's on the John Deere and J Boo's on the case. And we got Junior on the sprayer and Matthew on the disc. And of course, I'm just here and there. I can't remember if uh, last episode I had the uh, Ken's 1500 rain cart, but I got the Brent. It's a big bud package deal. We are just in time. But the, the Ken's won't load right the augers off center or something. So, now we're going to knock out this corner right here first. And, um, while we're doing that, I want to teleport somewhere real quick uh, if I can find out where it's at I think it's right here um, this is something else I modded or uh, added I cleared the trees right here and took out some of the tall grass and stuff that way when just come in this fence right here and also, I've been working on this. I cleared out some trees down through here and smoothed this out. 
And I'm thinking about making that where the combines can go up that way. Because this road's here kind of narrow. So there's all kind of trees. I started right here, but I'm make a road here on the side. But I got back here, found this. I'm just like, I'm just going to go straight up like that with the combines. But yeah. Oh no. No, you didn't. He did. He sure did. Man, seven mile an hour is slow. Catch him before you got that far. And uh, there's one other spot I done. And it's kind of, I think it's behind the shop or cut out some trees with the, the giant editor. That's, that's pretty neat. It's a little slow, but it works. Whoa. Got a feel, buddy. Put myself back down so I can get my tractor. But it's right over there. You can see the, the V where the crops come out. Yeah, I'm going to put this in on the case combine. He's not getting a John Deere because I don't think he's going to do that corner there very well. Yeah, the case is coming. Alright, doing a good job too. Alright. Hey, I work that don't like short rows for some Pipe out, I'll unload you real quick. You're on uh, 60 anyway, so. Ah!
folks, I just, I, I just love this map. I really do. But we do have our problem coming up. What's that, Mr. Blue? We're always having problems. That's right, folks. We're always having problems. This isn't what's so loud. It's in the way of it. But uh, the problem we got, the Arthur, Ezra, whatever you want to call them, of this map, the one I'm playing now is a beta. Okay, I can understand that we're probably going to have to do a, a, a restart soon, pretty soon, or something. But V2, the, the, not the beta, you know, but it's V2 beta, but the V2 actual version is fixing to be released in a week or two. Well, quite a few changes, and I didn't know it's going to have that many bugs in it. Uh, the animals triggers and stuff were not supposed to work on them when I got there's something wrong with it but he did say all of them wasn't like that it just depend on where you got the download link from so yeah I can't remember where I got the link from okay um whoa it's been a little dip or something there. Hope it makes it to the end. But um Anyway, there will be a V3 version of this map also and probably three to four months or a little bit longer so just like Pleasant Valley you know they got a V uh, well it's V2 V3 tricks and come out and V4 is the last on it so like on this one you know the V2 will be out in a couple weeks I'm not going to get it unless we have difficulties on this here uh, as like at one thing at ramp I showed you to a field I may not finish it I don't know it's just one of those things you know but anyway I'm not going to get to the other version of this until that gentleman is finish with the last one the V3 unless we have techno difficulties like the animal it's the animal triggers is what it is uh, we feed them and stuff so uh, but it'll be a little bit before we get into the animals because we're money wise right now we're going to sell pretty much all the crops we got just to get us back to where we need to be money wise which we got we own every field so we got plenty of money we just gotta go get it you know we might have to put a lot of it in storage and sell it over time because we got one, two, three, four sections of wheat, and then one, two sections of soybeans, the, the greener, one section of canola, and all the rest that's corn. And uh, we can also get us a trailer. Let me sit back here. He's almost full. We we'll also get us a trailer and start cutting down some trees. There's a hollow thing. Put your pipe out, blue. I want some corn. 
get, it, get these trucks filled up. I want to at least get both those trucks filled up in this episode. And I can't believe it's already been 30 minutes. Oh my god. Speed set. And folks, uh, some news and stuff that's going on. I am working on getting a drop. I got a drop box, but I gotta see how much, uh, I mean, gigabytes you can have in it and stuff like that. I may have to, uh, But uh, what, what I'm gonna do, I'm getting me a, a drop box. Like I said, I already got it. And uh, what I wanna do, all the mods that I use, I wanna put in that drop box. And what I'll probably do is set a I don't know, like a small price or something. Say, like, uh, you want access to my mods? I'll probably charge, say, like, $5 or something for, like, a one-time fee. And you'll have access to all my mods. And, uh, if you don't want to pay the $5, Say like you just want one of my mods or something, that'd be like a dollar or something. And I'll just give you that one file. I'm setting something like that up. Let's see what's he he can do a little bit longer. But um I'm working on something like that. I ain't quite got it set up yet. Um, I, don't know, I may or may not do that. I may not charge. Um, might just ask for like a donation or something for it. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to set that up. Uh, depends on how much your drop box is. If I can put all my mods in there and don't cost it, I probably won't charge anything. But if I had to have a set amount of mods, something for you know so much a month, I I may charge like five dollars for all the mods, or depend on how much Dropbox is. Uh, I'm not doing this to make money, but you know it would be helpful to get some donations or something for the effort of putting the mods in there and keeping everything up to date on Dropbox and stuff like that. To me anyway, you know. Um, ew, I'm gonna hit the pose. Ooh. All right. Pull this bad boy up. I don't know if we I don't think I got the uh, fertilized from the store yet. Let's see, I'm gonna run over here, send my pickup truck back to the store, hook up to the fifth wheel. hit that wall. I went the wrong way. Stop driver. It's on the other side over here. But uh, I was telling y'all that we do have a, a farm shop silo and it's 
up by the cow area. Okay, you should be good to go. All right, we're going to go visit that real quick. I may or may not showed y'all yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that ain't good. Oh, no, not again. I've been having this problem here, too, a lot. All right, folks, I'll be right back. All right, everybody. Finally made it back. As you can see, we're fixing to go to negative here in just a few minutes. Yeah, and we're waiting to follow. Uh, we're going to go to the store. I forgot I had this up here to sell. So we're going to sell that. I just need enough to get a sugar beet machine. And I will be alright. sell this bad boy see what we get. If I can get the trigger. There we go. 68,000. Alright. Sale. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a sugar beet machine real quick. Come on. Come on. Squeal. Oh, oh, oh. Uh... Wait, is that sugar beets? I think it is. I need to check, make sure. Or if it's potatoes. I'll be making a big mistake. That's brown. Yep, that's potatoes. Watch right there as we're going to click this back. Good thing I checked that. It's potatoes right there. Okay, go back in the store. Uh, little potato, patata. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. I want to lease it. Yes. That'll save us a lot of money this time around. Because we won't need it very much. I thought about getting another harvester, but I know I can't get one for 64000 One of these, but that'll be just too small. Unless I can lease one, but then we'll have to drive it down there. But I need something else. Also, I want to show y'all this new uh, bucket for the John Deere's. I don't know if it's going to be under this one or not. I doubt it. Yes, it is. Right there. $3,000. Uh, it originally held 2000 but I upped it to 10,000 and I hope that won't mess us up so yeah oh well, I hit back for uh, we might need this so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it says 3,000 um, wish we had a way of loading it but Uh, it's going around the back here. Wow. There's our potato harvester. We're going to load it on that truck right over there. We're going to have to get our combine here in just a second. I think it would be better if I back on this. This is the one that ain't very. See, on uh. I think it was Cherry Hills. This thing charged us a lot of money. 
If that's the case, we're gonna put it on that hood. This thing would be loading smooth and everything else. Yeah, the boys sent me uh, to uh, claim the fertilizer. Uh oh. Uh, might have to turn this thing around. It might close. I hope. We gotta hurry up. I'm gonna F1 up here. See, as soon as I fold it, it's supposed to lock it real good. So, let's hope it locks it and don't push it off. There they go. Oh good, it stopped in the right spot. Uh, so you unlock ramp, um, unfold ramp, unlock bed. So, and hopefully the t the crates right there are locked too. Oh no 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 no, they're not locked. Oh no. Oh no. Wow, they ain't gonna scoot back. I just know they're gonna fall off. I know this is unrealistic, but. Huh? Oh, just gonna move. Whoa. Easy, Mr. Blue. We gotta go get it. our combine to 100%. We gotta go get it. I gotta start getting the course play to get these, but with these huge fields, they'll never find them. I don't believe so. I love that auto save, but it just takes a long time. Well, I think we'll be good. We'll go ahead and go back to, oops, to the store. So we are four. There we go. Move this oven back, and I'm going to try to unlock and lock the load back. Yeah, you have to pick up just a slightly on it. It's probably nothing up on top that locks, I bet you. Okay. Uh, back up, make a wide turn here. Oh, this thing's slow about backing up. And there's our bucket over. I know y'all can't see it. That's it. We just got to test out, see if it's going to work. Still not locked. Okay, uh, let's see here. I think I can. See, street speed. I 
Don't let me turn down the streets for you. Oh well. They fall off. They just fall off. Go back to our combine. Well, folks, I think I know what's causing the problem. I can't move. Can't shift to nothing. Oh man, one fell off back here. Maybe just want to stay on. Oh my God, look at our money going down, folks. Yeah, we're gonna have to go get the uh, trailer, unload this thing here. It's just costing us way too much money. Yeah, it's gonna cost us time, but, oh, this ain't realistic, but, I get back. Yeah, so I can access the store now. It's got to be that trailer doing it. We're just going to dry. Oh, Lord. I did it this time. I really did it this time, didn't I? Oh, garage. We're going to sell it. Oh, that's that one right there. Uh, sell. Yes. Yeah. That would just that'd cost us fortune. Alright, we're going to do it this way. Transport. Uh, market to farm. There's waypoint, drive course, stop at glass. There you go. We're gonna hook up this and it, it's got uh, tension belts on it, so. This is why you gotta keep up with your vehicles, folks. Your equipment and workers. Let's go over here. You got a spot right here you missed. Now, when I go do this field, I guess I'm going to let horse play do the spraying. I guess this gonna be a hard to find at all this straw where the marks are at. Alright, 
filter other. I guess that's my fault because uh, I'll just change that back real quick. I went in here and I turned that off so we can save some time, but I think that hurt us more than it did anything. This will probably fill him up, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload him. Let's go to your just in the hole a little bit more. It maxes out at 53. So we'll catch him back down on this end and go from there. We're full. Kinda of wish this had an auger on it, but oh well. This will go up and go in our green tanks. And right in there we'll load that. And we're almost out of time. We're not even gonna get a full load over. Wow. I would just want to do a little bit each time, folks. And this is one reason why I actually uh, redone this right here. Planted some grass here. So we have a road right here. So we can cut across the field there. Oh, somebody let the tractor run it. Almost like turbo going out on that. Watch out, chickens. Whoa, going too fast. Actually, I think I've been dumping and missing. Across the road here, across the field, I should say. And we're gonna get him set up. Now this is gonna be unrealistic fast. I'm changing the speed down to about ten or twelve. No way, come on, go ahead and unfold. One thing about it, this thing will hold two million liters. See how fast it goes. And I can do about 24 mile an hour. Whoa, look at there. That's just too fast, folks. I'm 
That's why I got it set for 10. There we go. But we'll have quite a bit of potatoes. I'm going to say anywhere from four to 600,000 liters. Finish this on out. And I'm gonna go ahead and redo redest this as you can tell that it's changing darkness. But if I don't, the fertilization will be off here. So, and again, I'm going to do that off screen. There it comes by. Should be almost to the end. So I really don't know what I'm going to put right here. Like I said, I think about taking those two grain tanks out. Probably won't matter about the chickens, I don't guess. Be unrealistic, them going through the green tank. They're going through everything else, so. Whoa, 30,000 wedge payment? Ooh. And don't forget, folks, we gotta pay that loan back before we do anything. Before I use this guy anymore, I'm going to try and fix it where I use the other combine. I'm going to go ahead and unload real quick. R to unload. I said this whole the grain cart will hold 53, I think. I want to get another grain cart and scope the tippers. I might go ahead and do that. This giant, whoa, 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 what happened? I did my mouse. See, that one's 118,000. We got a John Deere over here. For eighty-five thousand, that holds sixty thousand. I upped it a little bit, so we might get that. That holds sixty thousand. I'm thinking about turning this in here up to like. Maybe eighty or ninety thousand, at least eighty thousand, I think. But, but anyway, it's got to be later. All right, it is empty. Let's see. I'll be a little bit over eye. I'm gonna go ahead and make this turn. Um. I guess I'm going to get off here, folks, and I'm going to go ahead and do some of this off-screen. Just the combines, cut the corn and stuff. That way I can have those two trucks filled up for the next episode when y'all come back. And we'll haul them off and see how much money we get. Sound like a plan? I hope so. But yeah, we need a, a another auger wagon badly. 
We got majority. Soon's uh the case gets around to this and that down here. Where is it? He's over by the other road over there. He should be riding over there somewhere. When he gets down here to this end, I'm going to switch him where he's going up and down. And uh, we'll get down there with this field pasture probably. Right, I know y'all been waiting for this moment, so get this grain cart unloaded and then we'll be ready to uh my right, my auger moving oh okay down is up and up is down now the like I was saying that the Ken's 1500 grain cart that I, I got off of a uh, Mod Hoster, I think. Mod Hub. One of Mod US. Let's see, let me raise that up a little bit. And I like that. I was watching the squad, and it works pretty good on them. But the deal is, see how the tip of the auger is going straight? Like that. Well, the, the Kins is face this away and is shooting it like over towards the other side of the truck. The graphics is off on it quite a bit. And see this in here? You can drive all the way down through here. Even to right there. And you're still unloading. The cans, you couldn't do that. Oh, it had to be at the front of the truck there. Or in front of the trailer here. So, right here. Had to be right there or it would not unload into the truck. But, uh, we're going to probably use these so we get some extra money. And then there's a couple trailers out there that I want to change up. So yeah. All right. Almost filled it. Oh, forgot to turn my beacons on. Now I realize some folks would try to turn around the road, and I, <laughs> the farmer I work for, the guys would just do this right here. But this big old tractor can handle it. Of course, I think I hit the deepest part. Whoa! Oh no, I hit the deepest part of the ditch. Yeah, yeah. Kind of watch that, folks. I don't know what Rude Man uh, was saying when I mean, you can't cross those ditches here. This looks a little bit better. I can just go at it in an angle. See how good that worked right there? Can't do that loaded though. Break an axle for sure. Alright, I'm going to catch the case. John Deere should be okay. And folks, I got to get off here. It hasn't been too long. It's probably an hour and ten minutes probably. But, uh, if y'all like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be no And hit the bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time I post a video. And, um... Ooh, he is going to be unloaded. He 
Okay. Oh, crap. The case is there. That's why he wasn't moving. Well, I'm going to go get him first. Gotta go that way anyway. Alright, folks. I hate to do this, but I gotta get it all. Uh, next time, we're gonna have uh, both of those trucks right there loaded with corn for y'all. And I'll probably have the two trucks loaded with corn. Uh, course play route done. And this buggy and both combines loaded. Yeah, it look like they're sitting waiting on their trucks. Uh, just for y'all. That way I have some, you know, more corn and everything. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So, till next time. You've been watching Mr. Blue Farms. Here on Farming Simulator 17. The Upper Mississippi Valley River. Or Upper Mississippi River Valley. Yeah, something like that. V2 Beta. And uh, folks, go check it. I'm gonna leave a probably leave a link down below in the web uh, description down there uh, where you can download this uh, map and stuff. Um, I believe it comes with the Mac and the semis and stuff like that. Don't hold that to me. I think they're in game with the map. Should be. All right. Check out that John Deere. But folks, y'all have a good day. Oh, yeah. Y'all have a good day, a great day, and I will see y'all later. Bye.